guys, welcome to today's video. Yes, we are taking another look at a new foundation. Today is Makeup Forever HD. This is a revamped of the previous HD and be warned, they changed the colors. This is 24 hour long wear. They're saying that it meshes with the skin so it looks skin-like, that it has a natural finish and medium coverage. This is a 24 hour wear foundation. They're saying it has a skin-like finish and medium coverage. I've applied it with my fingers, I've applied with a beauty blender, and I applied with a brush. And if you've never been here before, uh, that's pretty amazing for me. I much prefer fingers, but I know many of you do not. I use three different sunscreens. I use powder products, cream products on top to see how they work together. And I use two different powders. Today is unpowdered, and today is day three. You should know was one little thing, you guys. I didn't look any of this up for my first two days, and mainly it was because my light was right and I needed to start shooting and I didn't want to do all that. I just wanted to jump right into it. And the second day I continued. And then last night, which was the evening of my second day, I looked up what's going on with this, which most of it I told you. But I also found something interesting in here, which I will talk about on the third day. It's Usually, I read about it before I do it, so I know what I'm looking for, but I think in this case, you can really see how completely unbiased the things that I'm saying and how they apply to what I'm saying at the end. Is it a mystery to you? It's a mystery to me, too. If this is interesting to you at all, well, let's get into it. We're about to start with day one. You guys, it's early in the morning, earlier than I start shooting, and I was just about to do my facial massage. And I thought, why don't I do tests on this to see what to wear, which is something I should have done in front of you. But my face had very little redness in it, and I thought this would be an ideal time. I was kind of shocked. So right here, I have IR12, and right here is 2N26. This is the IR12 and 2N26. What is surprising to me is they changed the colors. Now, I saw Jamie Page do a comparison to her previous HD, and I've never tried this one before, and she said she got the same color. Since the numbers have changed, I'm imagining it's the name, which is what I did. And she said, well, this one is darker, the new one. And that's what made me decide I'm not going to go for the same color name, which is sand, but I'm going to look it up. And when I did the color matching on the Sephora site, they told me IR12, this one, which actually <laughs> a lot better than sand. So this is the reboot in Y315, which is sand. And this will we'll make a little mishmash right through here. So a little puzzle. So this one has more yellow in it for sure. But I can tell you this much, sand and this sand, not the same thing. All right, you guys, I've done my skincare, I've massaged my face, I am ready to put this on, and we are going to go with the R shade, 1R12, because that seemed like the best idea. You can see there's a lot more redness after I, you know, judge up my skin a little bit. Before we put this on, I just want to talk a little bit about my skin so you can decide if watching this is enjoyable. I'm sure it will be, but if what I have to say matches up to your skin. So my skin is on the dry side, but it's not really dry. So if I wash my face and don't put anything on, initially I have a tightness. That's the transepidermal evaporation from the water from washing the face. But a few hours later, it just feels quite soft. But I am not really producing oils, you know, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, elastin, collagen, all that good stuff that keeps your skin plump and youthful looking. I'm not producing. I put a lot of that stuff on my skin. And I will link right here my morning skincare routine so you can get an idea of what I put on my skin. While my skin is on the drier side, I don't have flaky skin and I don't have texture. And I also don't really have problem with foundations breaking up on my skin. 
they tend to last all day long. So let's go in with this and see what happens. Now it seems quite light compared to this morning, but there's more redness to my face right now. It's getting to be spring. In fact, we had some very warm weather recently. It was in the high 80s for several days and everything is kind of blooming. But now it's a little bit cooler and it's a little windy. And yesterday, you know, in the backyard here, I could just see all the little pieces from trees. Just, it was like a shower in the backyard. And I am thinking it's going to be a fun allergy season. Well, it looks so far like it's a pretty decent color for me, and it really doesn't look like much of anything on the skin. The formula is thin, uh, kind of reminiscent of the new NARS, but not exactly the same. And I think that's all I'm going to do, you guys. Um, it's not super duper coverage, you know? It evens everything out. The redness is a little bit lesser, but it's still there. But it does look like real skin. I think tomorrow we'll do it with a brush and we'll try building. But for today, I kind of like this. It, I think it looks really, really skin-like. Now, when I have something like this, that is not super duper coverage. I prefer, I still haven't given this back to Tamara. I'm going to have to buy it for myself. This is the e.l.f. concealer and it's a much better color than the one I have from Clinique. But I feel that with an application like this, going in with my Lancome, my Kosas, or my Clinique, there's going to be too much coverage and it will look a little weird. And I'll take off the excess just by rubbing my fingers together. And it just stays with that hardly anything really looks like your skin. Avi, I'm going to need to powder. All right, I think this is pretty darn nice. I do want everything to set up before I go in with powder. So I'm just going to turn off the camera, do a little brow, do something to the eyes, and we'll come back and approach some powder products. And I'll see you in a minute. All right, you guys, I'm back. I did my eyes and I changed my mind. I said I was, we were gonna do some powder, but I went into the Glam Palette for my eyes today and I thought, oh, well, let's do some cream blush. And just do a little finger application. Just works in so nicely. The skin really looks very, very nice. I'm going to pull you in right now so you can get an idea of what the skin looks like Forget about the shine, we'll pull in again after powder, but it doesn't look like foundation on the skin. Let's try some contour and bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, which I think is a great contour shade. Just a little bit, just to see what's going on on skin that has set for a little bit, but is not powdered. No problem, no pulling, no nothing. This must be a little bit sick of me using the same products, but once I find something I like, that's where I am. So Victoria Beckham Bronzing Brick. It's just subtle on my skin tone. And I use the lightest shade, but you could certainly do the darker shade. But I'm just trying to, you know, bring a little life to the skin. Not that it's needed, honestly, because this isn't full coverage. But I did want to see, you know, how it worked with powder products. So we did a little powder, we did a little cream, works beautifully. Let's put on some By Terry today, and then tomorrow we'll do the Kosas. I like the By Terry because it doesn't impart any color. 
and because I spot powder, it can be a problem. Since I pretty much powder here and here, if the color is different than the foundation, and I use something like the Kosas, which has color, later on in a couple of hours, it can start to look a little strange. So I just kind of buff this in. And then whatever's left under the eyes, but with this concealer, I don't think you really need it. Very, very nice. I think just for finish, I'm going to do the new Natasha Denona liner in Cala all over. All right, and this is it. So this is the Natasha Denona Cala and Peony, and then the palette for my blush. So I did a little cream, I did a little powder, I have light coverage on my skin today. And the skin looks great. I'm going to pull you in so you can see what's going on with the powder and then on the sides without the powder. I think it looks lovely. I'm going to go run a couple of errands. I don't have a lot to do, but I do have to leave the house and I will be putting a mask on today. Feels really nice, really comfortable. The texture feels very, very similar to the NARS, but I did feel that I got better coverage out of the NARS. So tomorrow, I'll come back, tell you what my experience was today, and we're going to try to build. And we're also going to use a brush in one of these days. And this is it for day one. You guys, it's about a week later. So I was editing the night before last, putting some together. I like to edit in pieces now. It's a little easier on me. And went to bed, closed my computer the next day. Okay, let's get back to some more editing. And all my original footage, gone. And the only thing that remains is the footage that I actually used in my edit. So two days of footage gone. And I'm only going to do one more application on this. But as I do the application, I will tell you what some of my observations were during those days. So I'm going back in with 1R12 and today I'm doing a beauty blender as I promised and we are going to see how much we can build this and see how this goes. Today I'm wearing the Isntree sunscreen. I, this is one reason why I really dislike beauty blenders. Everything on my hand is practically gone. I do feel like this shade is very nice for me, but I did notice while I was wearing this on all three days that my skin had a dehydrated look, and that is not something that I like. Every day I was noticing this, and I mentioned in the intro, you'll see what's going on because I had not looked up anything about the foundation until the night of the second application. And then it all made sense. What I was seeing on my skin made sense. So, I'm just going to tell you right now, the third ingredient is alcohol. And that for me is not a good thing because alcohol is not great for your skin's barrier. So your skin's barrier is comprised of omega fatty acids, which are lipids. So fat and oil are lipids. And cholesterol and collagen. And alcohol is a, is a solvent. It dissolves oils and fats. So alcohol on your skin, obviously, you just kind of connect it, right? Dissolves those fats and oils on your skin. Now if you're oily, you're probably thinking Yahoo! But if you're oily, the, you get the opposite effect. It's stripping your skin. Your skin says, oh my God, we're dry and it sends out more oil, more sebum, which is something you don't want if you're oily. But if you are dry like me, you really, you don't want your barrier to be compromised and nobody should want their barrier to be compromised no matter what your skin type. I'm gonna link right here my video that's just skincare, a foundation of skincare and my thoughts on skincare and how I approach skincare, but a healthy barrier is at the center of it, uh, an unhealthy barrier, a compromised barrier, will lead to dryness at best. And a compromised barrier is not a good thing, but it can also lead to some pretty bad things too. Uh, 
skin ailments that require a doctor to take care of. So a healthy barrier should always be part of your process, part of what you want. I did put on some extra moisturizer today to kind of protect me and check down below because I'm not going to come back and I will let you know if I had that dehydrated look. You know, maybe a little extra moisturizer will take care of it. Certainly, the moisturizer has lipids in it, right? And maybe that alcohol will just kind of dissolve that a little bit and won't actually attack your skin. In other words, your skincare could be a barrier from the effects of alcohol. And that's what I'm trying today. And maybe I won't have that effect. But if not the case, I, I feel like this is kind of a, a dangerous thing to play with. Alcohol in your foundation isn't something that I'm up for, generally speaking. Now I do think that this built up very, very nicely and it still looks like skin and this color is still really, really good. I feel a teeny bit of tingling, which who knows what that's about. I would just want to do a swatch comparison to another foundation that this reminds me of color-wise. I just want to see. So this is one. R12, and I want to take my Dior Forever Natural Nude, which I love, but it's oftentimes a little too light for me, and I should have used it in the winter months, but I didn't. Yeah, it is even lighter still. So that's the Dior, and this is the Makeup Forever. And then I want to try this. This is called Sand, but the, the numbers are different. So this is Y315 in the Makeup Forever. I don't know if the Reboot formula had the same numbering system as the HD original, but it does not have the same numbering system as this one. And yeah, that's the Makeup Forever Reboot in Y315 Sand. And this is 1R12, and they are not too far away from each other. So if you have tried the HD or the Reboot and you do want to give this a try, I suggest that you do a color match. That's what I did on the Sephora site. I just, you know, typed in some of my foundations and generally it will bring me to the same color. And if it doesn't, I have a decision to make of which way I want to lean. But I would say this color is really, really good. So this feels like it's set up now and I do want to go in with some powder blush because I'm curious to see if this is really set, considering that I used a lot more this time. And this is the Dior Rose Dentelle, which is a limited edition. I can't figure out why someone would make this limited. If you have darker skin, you really have to build this. You know, if you're medium, if you're above medium, you know, <laughs> Probably not going to work for you, but I just love that it just imparts the smallest bit of color. No problem at all. So while there is still a sheen and it looks like it's wet, it's not. So let's try something cream. Let's do a little bit of this. This is the Tarte Sea Breezy. I just love this color, and that's it's so hard for me to find a good color. I watched a Hindash video last night, and so I'm doing a little bit of his... Not the way he did it, and he used powder, but a little bit around the nose. But I oftentimes like to do my bronzer right over like that. Just no problems at all. It lays beautifully, and the skin looks like skin, and I'm seeing the dehydration. So this side of my face often looks dehydrated. I don't know why. <laughs> you know what it's like. The different spears of the body all the way down, starting with the brain. But this side usually doesn't so much, and yes, I am getting older, but I don't, I don't know if it's that or if this is kind of dehydrating on me, but right over here, it's that raisiny kind of look. I'm going to pull you in. And I always see it on this side, but this side usually not as much, and it's just right here in this zone right here. So again, down below, I will let you know how this wears because I do want to edit this and get this up for Saturday. 
and um, I'm going to finish my makeup and come back with my conclusions. So while I was finishing my makeup, and I still want to do a little bit of powder, I added my Givenchy, which is 3N250, a neutral, but it has a little bit of a pinkiness to it, to the mix. So these have all settled in a little bit, and I'm just going to turn, because the light is reflecting on them, so you can get an idea of what these colors are once they settle in. I definitely feel that my colors changed a little bit since I put it on. So I just want to do a little powder under my eyes, but I want it when there's hardly any powder left. So I'm going to start with the forehead. And maybe a little here. And that is my By Terry and my Wing Goss, which I love. So what do I think? I think I've already kind of said it, but I'm going to put it in one place. Colors. If you have tried anything else from Makeup Forever, be sure to do a color match on the Sephora website because the colors have changed as far as names are concerned and numbers if they were the same as the reboot. I can't say if they were the same as the previous HD. What does it look like on the skin? It's so pretty. It is so pretty. So color is very important to me. Something can be beautiful, but if the color sucks, it really doesn't matter because it'll never look like your skin. And I'm going to pull you in right now so you can get a close-up. Super freaking pretty. It reminds me a lot of the NARS. It has kind of the same look. It has really decent coverage if you build it. Works well. I did use it with a brush as well, but I don't remember. Works well with the Beauty Blender. Works well with the fingers. And they both kind of look the same, except for this is actually a color I can live with. And I have to say that, in my experience, Makeup Forever, it is a professional makeup line. That's how it started. It started in France, and I know professional makeup artists who use Makeup Forever because they have so many choices for colors. And they don't disappoint for me. Only thing is that bothers me is it has alcohol in it. And I'm still feeling a little bit of that tingling thing, which I just can't help but feel that it is the alcohol that's in here. It's the third ingredient. There's also fragrance in here. If that's, It's halfway down the ingredient list, so if that's something that is not workable for you, you won't be interested. They have tocopherol and, and probably glycerin, I can't remember. But it's not like it's doing something for your skin, and that's okay. For me, it's just do no harm, you know? And for me, the alcohol, kind of a problem. The fact that it makes me look a little dehydrated, not ideal. I don't know, you guys, I'm kind of torn on this. It looks like it's kind of gathering right here. I'm going to pull in. Maybe it's just me getting older. Damn. I just don't know what to say. I, I'm absolutely torn on this. If you don't care about alcohol in your foundations, a lot of foundations have them, and a lot of foundations have them really high up, then I highly recommend you take a look at it. But I'm just so torn, you guys, because I love the way it looks. I love the color. I still am having this itchy feeling over here. And I'm not wearing zinc today, so it's not the zinc. I think it's the alcohol, so I'm not really sure. But now you know what my thoughts are and what the colors look like, and that's it. I want to thank you so much for spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. I hope it was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be smart and be safe. And I'm wishing you good health. <laughs>